Your book, Six Physical Separation, it's all about uh, connecting with people and businesses online. Here we are at a real life face to face event. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, let me check do you, Twitter. Do you, do you think these re, these um, these events are kind of becoming more or less important in, in the age, the digital age? I think they're more important. I think that what the digital age does is it facilitates your ability to connect to people who are like-minded. I think the people who do it exceedingly well are the ones who translate that into you know real-world meetups, and that's why, like in the book, I'm so passionate. I actually have a whole ta chapter called "The Real World," where I talk about things like unconferences and meetups. I mean, people forget that if you go back 10, 15 years if you like marketing and you lived in a city like Montreal it was like uh, what do you do you wait for the random marketing event to come along but now because it's online channels you can connect to my blog other people's blogs when you're in other cities you can tweet and have meetups and I think that that's really what makes this connectivity powerful not that it's relegated to digital but that it's a global consciousness you got one more in there um, yeah you said in your talk of talking about how brands have to start stop marketing and, and start publishing um, do you, uh, any, any examples you've come across lately of, of brands that are doing this really well across different platforms, telling, telling stories basically across yeah. different platforms? Yeah, so I don't think it's about stopping to be a marketer. I think it's about understanding that the marketing function has a publishing component to it. And you know, you see this across the board. I mean, you know, the people at Sparksheet, Transmedia, Henry Jenkins, this idea of telling stories. Uh, you know, using a, an example like The Matrix, where you're not just promoting it in a movie poster or a commercial, but you're creating video games and comics and that whole thing. So that's you know, a big burgeoning movement that we see. But I think a lot of brands do it really well. You can even look at brands like Starbucks, you can look at brands like Whole Foods, you can look at brands like Dell, where they're creating content. They have people who are blogging, they have people who are creating podcasts, they have people who are active on Twitter. Look at Zappos and Tony Shea, really active characters. So I think we see it more than we think we see it, and we almost don't realize that we're seeing it because we tend to dismiss things like Facebook and Twitter for just being whatever. We look at like H&M, they've got over 4 million people on their fan page, and they're really active. They're engaged in a real dialogue back and forth. They don't even have an e-commerce site. So they're only doing that to get people excited, to drive them to shop and go to their store. And so I think there are more examples than we even care to sort of acknowledge, but there are a lot of great brands that are great publishers. Last question, uh, Seth Godin, another uh, bald Jew who's here, <laughs> another bald Jew who's here tonight, one of the many, um, uh, says that he, he just put out his last book um, with a traditional uh, publisher. Uh, do you fear, pursue yourself going in, in that direction? Yeah, I think I would if I was in the position Seth is. Seth is in a very likable position where he has a, a mass following. I mean, his blog is probably 10 or 100 times my size. I also think that we are we are misrepresenting not using a traditional publisher. I think he will self-publish and have very traditional sales guys sell it to the big store so that it's physically in store. Uh, he just doesn't need that mechanism to distribute his ideas anymore. And so I think. The lesson for me was more about understanding who you're connected to and really playing into that relationship. Seth is a really fortunate person to be there. My guess is he'll leverage those relationships to create more relationships, but he doesn't actually need a traditional publisher. Um, I think people like myself probably still do, but I'm hoping to get that, would be nice.